Alright, welcome, welcome back. back. Um, um, about the same. Oh. 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 <laughs> well, what a great way to start that episode. <laughs> Hello, everybody. Welcome to the, today's episode of uh, Hollow Knight. Got it right that time. Yeah. Um, uh, I just died again. Wow. That was awesome. People waited like it was three sick. days just to see that happen. Yeah. Yeah, I hope it was worth uh, the wait. Get more tickets uh, to see me fucking die over and over again. Yeah. Um, and fail the same jumps I've done 50 times. Let's talk about um, a few gaming stuff that's happened recently. Oh, so, you know what? You know what? This may be a, kind of a continuation from last episode, but we well, are seeing like a lot of video game companies kind of not um, not make any announcements or release like. Trailers. Oh yeah, yeah. Because everybody agreed to um, do like a a certain movement this week, like for silence. And not to promote anything and to let um, the black community's voices be heard. And yeah, not, uh, I think that's a good thing. Announcements to try to so, except for Pokemon. They were like, fuck it, dude. Fuck black people. Fuck it. <laughs> fuck black people. Play Pokemon. <laughs> Play, Play Pokemon, Pokemon while you're to protesting. Pokemon yeah. Go. You could use the Switch while you're protesting on the go. <laughs> that's like the new commercial. Yeah, oh man, that'd be hilarious. It would be like yeah. that Pepsi commercial. You know the one where she walks up to the police officer? That everybody was making fun of? <laughs> like, some yeah, chick yeah. walks up to the police officer and just hands him a Pepsi. And then, like, yeah, every yeah. problem on the planet is solved. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah. These bitches have such long yep, ass yep. So, in this case, uh, the police officer gets handed Pokemon Shield uh, DLC. Yep. There you go. Uh, um. Pokemon. <laughs> Hi, Russ. So, um, did you did you watch that trailer? Um, no, I did not. So tell yeah. me about it. it. It was basically just like a small recap of what was already shown. Um, like Articuno and Zapdos. And, yeah, uh, the Reggies like and that. stuff like that. They oh, only the confirmed. What? Yeah, so you could get the regular Reggies and then they showed the new Reggies. Uh, oh, wow. And uh, yeah, they, they are pretty cool. Um,. Yeah, I do think it was funny that everybody was like, we're canceling everything, and, uh, you know, we want your silence to be heard. And then Nintendo was like, Pokemon DLC! Oh, Isle, the Isle of Armor and the Crown Tundra. Um, two oh, DLC okay. packs. There are going to be two new giant uh, open wild areas, a uh, new story for both of them, new features being added, and returning Pokemon in each one. And... New really region variants and Gigantamax Pokemon, and uh, so they just showed off uh, Delarian Slowbro, who has a gun. Yeah, that that boy, he has a gun. That boy looks cool. I like that guy. He, yeah, yeah. I've always loved Slowbro. I love fucking. Uh, Me too. I, I love, love the uh, whole like tree. Yeah, I I especially loved using uh, Mega Slowbro. Um, Yes, because like, it had so he, much defense. Oh my yeah, his God. defense was on top, dude. And then yeah, you could just, like, crazy. you could stack his special defense and his defense. Yes. And then, yes. uh, and then kind of put things in, t and then, like, put the rest into special attack. Because that was already kind of high. And then also, you could just use the move Scald. Because mm -hmm. it, it, could, it could burn, like, water type Pokemon also. Uh, it just had the chance to burn. A 30% yeah. chance to burn. Yep. Yeah, I, I love uh, Mega Slowbro. And that's the one that I would use. Um, the other one that I would I used to use was Mega Pinsir. And uh, oh, that yeah, was pretty with bad. Eight. That guy was yeah. Cool. Yeah. Um, but he was super fucking fast. Like Yeah, he was. And he also had to move yeah. Aerial Ace. Or uh, yeah. Quick Attack. He had Quick Attack. Mm -hmm. Which turned into a, a flying type move. Cause, uh, yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, so uh yeah, so cool. now um and there's a cool interesting thing that I really like that they're adding. So, um in order to get a Gigantamax Pokémon, you have to find it and then catch right. it. Catch it. Um and even if you catch a Pokémon that has the potential to Gigantamax, it won't. You have to catch the Gigantamax version. 
Um, so, so like, wow. let's say for so example, wait, for a while, um, for let's a while, say for Gigantamax Pokemon, does it, does the wild Pokemon only stay Gigantamax for three turns? Uh, yeah. Wow. Oh, well, well, okay. well in, when you're battling it, oh, <laughs> wow. When you're battling it, cool. you actually get 15 turns, I think, and then it oh. runs away. Okay. Um. Uh, or, or alternatively, alternatively, um, if uh, four uh, Pokemon die, then it runs away. And that can be really okay. rough sometimes because if you're not playing with other people and it's a really strong Gigantamax Pokemon, he can wipe the entire team. And he can move more than once per turn sometimes. What? Yeah. So he could really? just totally obliterate your whole team in one shot and then it'll just be you left and you're actually strong and you could probably actually do it but because the other pokemon are dying you basically just have no shot that's actually wild yeah but but like let's say uh scent scorch um if you if oh you catch a scent scorch it God. will yeah. not gigantamax uh, right. you, have you have to, to catch until you get to max uh sense of scores yeah but looks super cool, in, by the way. in the dlc you will be able to gather certain items and materials and then put them in a uh stew called gigantamax soup and okay. if you give it to a pokemon that has potential to gigantamax they will now be able to uh so it's like a but, item like a held item um, not a held item. Once they eat it, then they can just turn Gigantamax from there on out. Okay. And instead of you having to find the Pokemon, which already has a rare chance of showing up. Right. Um, but I believe there's balancing to it. So a wild Gigantamax Pokemon will be stronger than one that you gave the soup to. Right, I mean, I um, imagine, like, the individual values of the IVs or the EVs. Yeah, so, be better. and it's because they, the people who actually work hard to fucking find them uh, will now, right. um, be you know, the ones that be rewarded with higher stats. Um, and, this area and, is such a nightmare. I fucking hate this place. <laughs> so, that is really good. I like that. Yeah, um, I like that, too. That's a good, um, it's a good end game, like, grind kind of deal, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, you yeah. The, you want the good Gigantamax Pokemon instead of the, um, the less good ones. It depends on how, how much different they are, but usually, in Pokemon, every little bit matters. So it's like, yeah. You'll probably end up getting them. Yeah, so, uh, that's a really cool change. Now let's talk about. Uh, The Last of Us. No, 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 no. no we were already talking. About that. That's old news. That's old news. Never mind. It's old news. Um, we have to. We have to keep our audience appeased, or else they will leave. We have to. We yeah. have to become Philip DeFranco. We have to have new <laughs> news every episode. What's up, guys? Philip DeFranco here, and today yeah. we're gonna be doing. You make him sound like Andy Milamakis. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Um. So, uh, Sega's big announcement that will change the gaming industry, that is a quote from them. They said that, and uh, okay. we trusted them, and <laughs> they lied. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, tell me about that. Apparently, so I saw like one YouTube thumbnail about that. <laughs> um, so, they were very, they were waiting. They were going to show it off at like tax or something like that or i don't know what they're going to show it off at but um they were going to show off some sonic stuff and then a bunch of other sega news and uh they decided to hold off on the sonic stuff but then they just kind of out of nowhere uh were like okay we have something that'll change the gaming industry forever check it out guys it's the game gear micro and Game Gear Micro wasn't the Game Gear yeah. like something like so retarded. Yes, it ago? was. Yeah, so they decided to re-release the Game Gear, but now it's stupid. 
What games were and even on the Game Gear? So it was a lot of games, but they were like really, really bad quality looking versions of games that existed or like new games. And oh, so it was nobody... like a Game Boy port of a game. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Totally. Like 100%. And, uh, and when they showed that off, everybody had the straightest face on the planet. <laughs> Did they show the audience or something? <laughs> was no, audience? no, but or was no, everybody no, 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 just reacted it, like, "What the fuck?" Who? Cares? Everybody was just like, "Are you kidding?" <laughs> like, wow, this is the thing that you guys have been working on is a fucking mini version, and it's like it's so tiny, it fits like you could squeeze it, like it's a fucking um, like a uh, what do you call it? Uh, fucking, it's an egg. And it's a keychain. Stress ball? No, it's an egg keychain with a Tamagotchi. Oh, yeah. okay. It's like a size of a Tamagotchi. And, uh, Why would anybody want to play on a screen that small? <laughs> exactly, exactly. And, uh. What the heck? Yep. That's something. I'm lost. Uh, good one, Sega. That's. You see, this is exactly why you got kicked out of fucking. Console, console race boys. yeah yeah fucking yeah. That, that's so idiotic <laughs> that nobody is so idiotic nobody has talked about a game gear in like 10 years 10 to 20 years dude exactly unless you're like, like a vgn <laughs> yeah and even then he it's your job yeah. <laughs> like yeah so ridiculous I've... i can't believe that that's so sad when have you is ever heard like... anybody talk about a game gear like <laughs> in no. your entire life of course I i've haven't. never legitimately talked about the game gear with anybody ever like yeah no of course because not. nobody cares about it nobody fucking cares about uh, the game gear oh it was a sad little console that yeah like it totally like outdated the game boy because it was the first backlit screen but it didn't have the games to fucking entertain this fucking that? audience. What? Did you see me arc perfectly over the fucking the little dude? Like I jumped oh, so no. close I thought I was gonna get hit. You'll see <laughs> it in editing. Girl. It is actually yeah. insane. Um but Gosh. anyway, yeah, no. Like, first of all, who wants to play on a game that's uh, a thing that's small? Second of all, Sega, this was your opportunity to fucking <laughs> capitalize on the on the on the on the whole that is left whenever there's no Nintendo DS. This was yeah. the opportunity. Earl! Hey. Been a while. Up, He's yeah, gone. Been a while. Oh, this is a ledge. Hit that. That's fun. Oh, oh, oh! You can hit that. I think. I can. Yes. Bro, what the fuck? Oh, oh my god! <laughs> oh my god. I'm going pissed. I'm, I'm gonna go fucking piss, dude. I'm so fucking mad. <laughs> I'll be right back. Jesus. Uh. Hi, I am unpissed now. <laughs> I have this awesome story to tell after um, these few things left to say. Alright. The game gear is dumb. Alright, let's move on. And, uh. <laughs> <laughs> um, the PS5 was about to be announced. Oh mm. my god, it, dude, I know. Dude, okay, I get it. Alright, look, okay, alright, alright, all right, okay. I 100% understand. I am understand. Most people were really understanding about it. Because yep. of everything that's going on and whatnot. And, but, you know, everybody just had, like, that initial reaction, like, fuck. Like, oh. Fuck. Yes, I know. You know, know. what I mean? Like, oh. I know. Like, even I like, me, I totally, I was totally like, oh, man, are you kidding? Yeah. But, you know, a few like, moments after, I was like, you know, that I get it. I get it. I'm, there's no yeah, reason like, to actually like, I be can't, mad. I can't be mad at them, but it's also like, Sony, you're already behind the curve enough. <laughs> People have yeah. taken apart the Xbox One, fucking ass raped it. They know everything about it. <laughs> We're just going to have kids. Yeah. Fucking... <laughs> what its genetic dispositions are and, and fucking and fucking we know shit about the ps5 yeah we know we know literally that there's a nothing. controller 
We know that a controller exists. Oh my yeah. god, I lost another fucking 100 rubles or whatever the fuck these things are called. <laughs> rubles. Oh my god. But anyway. Yeah, disappointing, um, but we'll it maybe it'll be eventually. next week. Maybe. Um, I, I have a feeling it'll be next week, you know. Um, but or, or maybe they'll wait like another week, but it's definitely going to be soon. They um, are definitely they ready to anymore. show something off. Yeah, yeah, that too. We're already six months away from the release of their console, and we have mm -hmm. no price, no details, and they no, currently like, do not have titles. people. Oh, wait, do we have launch titles? I think we have like maybe. No. Like, well, do we have any? We have like no. a few that they showed off at the, like the software demo on it, right? No. Uh. Well, it wasn't like legit so. games. Oh, I don't know. Honestly, I, I don't remember. Clue. It was so long ago. God, man, yeah. PS the PlayStation needs to freaking step up their game right now. Yeah. Hopefully it's cheap. Hopefully it's not as much as um some what of the estimates say. Because yeah. like, holy six hundred and fifty dollars. Yeah. God. Absolutely damn. no way. Jesus um, Christ. Like if I'm if I'm saving above five hundred dollars, I'm getting a car. I'm sorry, but yeah, you know, at that point, I might as well just get a car. Mm-hmm. Like exactly. I mean, okay, I get it though. I can understand the pricing because look at when the PlayStation Four came out. That was in 2013. It's been seven years since. Yeah, there's a lot of the next tech. generation. So yeah, technology has advanced incredibly with gaming, and. I can understand if the price is a bit high. I, I'm gonna say it's gotta be like 500 at, at the most. You know what I mean? Maybe yeah, 550. Yeah, if they go above 500, if they go above 500, I think they're gonna have like a huge like fall off yeah. in sales. And we, unless it's like super good. Like unless it's yeah, like they're super they're really gonna worth have it. to prove the price point. Yeah, exactly. If it's above, yeah. like I think the PlayStation costs like four hundred, right? Wasn't it something around? Yeah, mm -hmm. four hundred. Yeah, three ninety nine. Yeah, so it's like, man. And that was in twenty thirteen. It, yeah, it's true, but like, um, I don't know. Like, like just because tech is better doesn't mean people are ready to pay that much more. Yeah, six hundred and fifty. Yeah. Even if they prove it, I think people are still going to have a hard time wanting to buy it. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. So, it, I mean, I'm hoping... Because, uh, I mean, if they make it 400 again, or like 450... Then you win. Then, then you win. Yeah, they, they for sure win. Because, I mean, now PlayStation 4s cost like $200. and Yeah, they're very cheap. Or they're much you cheaper. Know, yeah, like now they cost like half the price that they originally were. So mm -hmm. I mean you'll four hundred again, maybe four fifty, um, you'll definitely be getting your fucking money's worth. Yeah, I um, know, exactly. I think I think that'd be a smart decision for them. And again, um I mean this console has lasted me a very, very long time. Yeah, it's a good console. Uh, but, uh, you know, man, another seven years of this is fucking crazy. <sighs> crazy. Yeah, but, oh, man, the graphics are so crazy, though. Oh, my God. Yeah. They're already really good on the PS4, but I exactly. I want to see PS5 shit already. Yeah. Like, I want to see, like, like that was that was a, like, we saw, like, the, the lighting demo and, like, the material demo. Yeah. But, like, that's different than like an actual game you know what i mean yeah i want to see like gameplay gameplay yeah like, because they was, can push demo they, gameplay you know what yeah, i mean because they can push the limit in a 30 second demo of just like one area with a bunch of effects flying everywhere right but if right. you can't it, it's totally different when you're making an entire game on a bigger mm -hmm. scale with those same effects, you know? Because yep. then you actually have strain on the CPU for the consoles. And there's a um, lot more rather. information 
Cause like I, I bet that demo didn't have any like, like, like calcul well not calculations, but like, in terms of like like there's a lot of information that the game has to keep track of, in terms of like uh -huh. player stats, right? Like you have uh -huh. you have how the how the like, like a lot of games have like progression systems and like that definitely yeah. puts a wear on the CPU in terms of trying to calculate oh, yeah. how the game works based off of how your specific character yeah. um, is built. Rather, and rather than them showing off uh, like a couple of 3D random. models doing some yeah. nice shit, you know? Yeah, I mean, it looked good, but yeah. like, I want to oh, yeah. see like some real, real shit. Yeah. Well, we will hear this awesome story about how stupid my coworkers are next time. Next episode. Later, y'all. Bye.